Hold on a sec. Sorry. Hi. I was, I'm sorry. I was a little lost. So I was looking for my phone so I can get the GPS. I'm not really good at directions. I really need help sometimes. And I have the GPS on my phone, but I, I can't find my phone. That's okay. That's all right. I'll find it later. Oh, goodness. I hate when you get lost. You know, the Israelites were lost, but what were they lucky enough to have? God. God was with them. God guided them. Do you know at night he sent a pillar of fire so they could see where they were going? And during the day it was a huge cloud. So he was with them the entire time. He was just leading them. He was guiding them. You know, we've talked about God is with us and God gives us strength. We talked about God saves us. We talked about God provides us, provides for us. But God also guides us. And he does that in several different ways. He talks to you sometimes. Um, a song on the radio, someone says something to you, but most importantly, God guides us using the Bible. And it's sometimes hard, especially nowadays. I know, especially for you, like when you're in school and people are like saying ugly words and being ugly, it's hard. It's hard to do the right thing. It's so much easier just to do what everyone else is doing because when you do the right thing, you stand out. And sometimes you may not know what the right thing is, but God guides you. God gave us rules. God gave us a guidebook. We call it the Bible. In fact, uh, Moses got 10 commandments. Do you know what a commandment is? It's something you have to do. You know, like when your mom says, clean up your room, that's a commandment, okay? He gave him 10. So he gave him, thou shalt have no other God before me. Thou shalt have no graven images. Uh, sorry, Miss Jennifer's going into the King James version, but that's how they said it back then. So he said, you couldn't have another God before him. You couldn't have any, um, any idols. He said, you can't say his name in a bad way. You can't even say, oh my, mm -mm, don't do that. He said, you uh, need to honor your mother and father. He gave you 10 commandments and they were to help you live your life. So they were how you, did, how you um, interact with him. They were how you interact with your parents and they were how you interact with each other. He told us not to lie. He told us not to murder people. He told us not to covet. He gave us some very specific rules. And it's, it's really hard, apparently, to follow those 10 commandments. I mean, I don't think it is, but I think we found out it is because people are all the time breaking the rules. But that's okay, because God is still there to guide you. So even if you think you may have broken the rule, because mm, let's be honest, we break rules, God still forgives you once you've been saved. But he guides us with those 10 commandments. He guides us in other ways throughout the Bible. Uh, when Jesus was talking, he gave us some rules. He said to love the Lord your God, with all your heart, all your soul, and your mind. He told you to love your neighbor as you would love yourself. He gave us commandments, and that is how he guides us. He set these rules, and they're really easy rules. They boil down to love God above all and treat others like you were, you were them. Treat them like you would treat yourself. That's what it boils down to. So if you love God like nothing else, you love him best, you're not going to have any other images. You're not going to uh, do things that hurt him. You're going to remember the Sabbath day. You're going to keep it holy. If you love others like you love yourself, you're not going to steal from them. You're not going to kill them. Well, I hope you don't kill them. You're not going to do any of those mean things because you're following the rules that God gave you. See, God didn't just leave us down here on our own with just like, have at it. He gave us something to guide us. He gave us the Bible. He gave us his word. He gave us his son. God loves you, so he's with you. He provides for you. He gives you strength. He saved you, and he will always guide you. Bye, guys.